Hi there, and welcome to Factoring. As both the pork emission and flavor text say, the module name of factoring, although intimidating, has little to do with the actual mathematical factoring. Rather, it's a pretty simple call and response module, about as basic as you can get, where you take the first letter on the display, check where it is in the table, and what the result is. If there's a line moving down from one of the results, you check the next letter, and so on. Next letter, and so on. Next letter, and so on. If you run into a blue letter, we submit. So we start at Charlie, we immediately go to a Lima L, which is the last letter on the display. In this case, Delta, so we press Delta. We have an Alpha, Alpha, Delta. X-ray is any letter, so let's press Hotel. That doesn't get enough love. Now we have Bravo, Charlie, Delta. Bravo, which is also our last letter. And the module is solved. One more example, we have a Bravo, Bravo, Charlie, last letter is Delta. We have a Delta, so Charlie. We have a Charlie, so Bravo. That's it. Now, you may notice that if you have a sequence starting with Charlie or Delta here, it's always going to be the last letter, in this case, Bravo. If you have an Alpha Bravo sequence, well, I like probability. And I think a number of us like probability, too. So I was curious, if you have a random sequence, without even looking at the first display, just looking at the the last letter, what are the, what are the chances that we can just guess it randomly? Well, there's a 69.53% chance it's going to be the last letter no matter what. There's an 18.75% chance it will be Bravo, a 3.125% chance it will be Golf, and a 0.391% chance it will be Alpha, which is Alpha Bravo, Alpha Bravo, Alpha, Alpha, Alpha. There's a 0.391% chance it will be Alpha, if it's not the last letter. There's also an 8.203% chance it will land on an any square like we did earlier with our X-ray. This means you can press any letter on the module like we pressed our hotel. What are the raw chances though, really? What if I just wanted to press Bravo right now? What are the chances that I'm right if I just guess randomly? Well, there's a 77.73% chance that you will have to select the last one, no matter what. And I know that sounds sort of shocking that you can look at the last letter on the display and get it three-fourths of the time, but if you include the any results, that's what it comes out to. If it's not, the chances are really good that it's Bravo. So let's try solving some modules like this, not even looking at the table, just looking at this probability factor of last than Bravo. Bravo is our last, so the chance is even higher, somewhere 90%. 95%. There we go. Delta, Alpha. Okay. Bravo. This leads to something. Let's not check. Let's try Alpha. Okay, let's try Bravo. Charlie. Delta. Bravo. You can see, this module is not only very guessable, it's hardly strikeable unless you get really unlucky down here. This is... All of this together is a 96% chance that you won't get a golf or alpha result only. If you try last, then bravo, factoring will mostly solve, and if you remember that Charlie Delta is always the last letter, you can make it even less strike prone. We'll solve this last module by following the table, since we already have two strikes. Last is here as alpha. Alpha, alpha, Charlie is last. Bravo, alpha, Bravo is last, so we could have guessed this module with our three-fourths chance and been correct anyway. Again, not a very challenging module. I would say that this is pretty easily solvable if you have the right uh, training on it. Even two minutes of training can give you a 50% success rate of absolutely knowing what the answer is. 
And even if you just guess, looking at the last letter on the module and submitting will be three-fourths of the time. And if that's wrong, just press Bravo, and there's a 96 plus percent chance that it will be one of those two. Just from random chance, based on how this chart is set up. Um, that's factoring. It sounds intimidating. It's hardly the case. You can randomly guess it three-fourths of the time if you know what the probabilities are. So, thanks for watching. Um, and now you've added one more little module to your library, and hopefully now you can solve factoring a little better.